adventure. I'm going. We're, We're going. going. We're going on an adventure. Books. Travel. Learning. Exploring. We're going on an adventure with the Bug Chicks. Hi, we're the Bug Chicks. We're entomologists who teach about insects, spiders, and other arthropods. We want to show you the bugs of America. You don't have to go to Borneo or the Amazon to find cool animals. There's a whole world of tiny awesome out here, and we're going to help you find it. See this couch? We're going to bring it with us and place it into some of the most bizarre and beautiful ecosystems across the country. We'll inspire you to get off the couch and explore America's backyard wilderness. Have you noticed the whole fear-based thing that nature programming has going on nowadays? The creepy music, the dripping fangs, it's gross. A lot of people tell us that they appreciate the way we teach because we teach about these animals in a way that's respectful and enthusiastic. When we teach and film about insects and spiders, we don't promote fear, myths, or prejudice. We turn fear to fascination, and that's what makes this show so special. This show will be linked with national science standards, and we're partnered with Project NOAA, an amazing app supported by National Geographic. You can come with us on the journey, upload your photos, share your questions, and be a part of the show. But we need your help to do it. If you support strong female role models, positive programming, science, fun educational content, this show is for you. There are a ton of cool incentives if you decide to partner with us on this project. We are going on an adventure. Wanna come? <laughs>Hi, and welcome to episode 39 of the Breaking Bio podcast. I'm Morgan Jackson. I'm a PhD student at the University of Guelph in Ontario, Canada. And today we've got a full suite of people here and a return guest that we haven't seen for almost a year now. But first, our co-hosts. Hi, I'm Bug Girl. I'm an entomologist and writer, and I live in Ohio. Hi, I'm Heidi Smith. I'm a postdoc at the University of Texas at Austin. Hi, I'm Stephen Hamlin. I'm a postdoc at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. So that brings us back to our, our new guests, well, new returning guests. Uh, the Bug Chicks are back because they've got an awesome new project that we're going to be so excited to talk about and can't wait to hear. But first we'll find out what have the Bug Chicks been up to since we last talked to you in, I guess, October-ish? October of last year. Um, well, we have been teaching a ton of workshops. Um, we wrapped up a video camp this past, this right. past month. We taught our first week-long video camp. Uh, where we had we had eight sort of eleven year olds with us, hmm. and we we made a bug video in five days. And Jessica and I pulled an all nighter to edit it, and then we had a <laughs> red carpet premiere with them on a Saturday, and it was really a lot of fun. It was a total success. Um, what else have we done? Um, we met a lot of people that we Ooh. interact with on Twitter with um, at the Entomological Society of America conference last year in Knoxville, and that was totally awesome. We had a lot of fun. Mm. It was good to put names to faces. <laughs> um, we've done a ton. I can't remember. Yeah. We taught some stuff about bugs. I mean, we did things <laughs> with bugs. We did a lot of teaching. That's what we did. <laughs> um, and we've been working on planning this upcoming video trip. Yes. Exactly. So this is what we what we really want to know. We should also probably add that if people haven't been, you know, watching us from the very start and haven't gone back and watched all of our previous episodes, which they should be ashamed of for not doing, <laughs> perhaps we should explain who the bug, tech, bug chicks actually are, besides how awesome they are and what they're doing. Um, so Jessica <laughs> and I are the bug chicks. We are entomologists. We have our master's degrees in entomology from Texas A&M University. And during grad school, we met and we decided that we wanted to do some things just a little differently with our careers and try to run a quirky small business where we teach about insects and spiders and other arthropods in uh, myriad bizarre ways. <laughs> so we make videos. We are we're writers. We um, we blog each week for NPR Science Friday website. We uh, we help other institutions teach about insects during during educational initiatives mm -hmm. that they have, like the U.S. Forest Service has hired us to teach for their Pollinator Live distance education program. Um, we also consult with several organizations, like the Borlaug Institute of International Agriculture. We have gone down to Guatemala several times to teach with their ag tech program. And so basically it's all about education and entomology and getting, bringing people in on it and also showing the world that you don't have to be afraid of insects and spiders. So that's, that's basically what we do. 
So as we discussed, you've got an, an all-new uh, Indiegogo crowdfunding project going on because you are crowdfunding to do your own awesome web series. Yes. You guys got to be super excited about this. Oh, man. It's, uh, we we kind of came up with the idea back in March. We, we were teaching some assembly programs back on the East Coast, and we visited my mom. And uh, her mom has this <laughs> fabulous couch down in the basement, and Christy asked her if she could have it. Her mom said yes, and we were trying to figure out a way to get it from the East Coast back to Portland. And uh, from there it has yeah. run into this idea that we will take a couch <laughs> around the country and place <laughs> it into bizarre ecosystems and inspire people to get off the couch and explore America's backyard wilderness through, of course, the awesomeness of arthropods. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we're talking about with the series is that you don't have to go someplace far away to see something amazing. There is so much diversity in, in the arthropod world here in our backyards that people aren't exposed to or don't really know about. And so our goal is to film across the country and show people the, the amazingness of the arthropods of America. We are leaving August 26th and we are driving for five weeks we're now using an alternate couch. <laughs> we bought a second couch because we're going now from the west coast to the east coast. My mother doesn't know that we're not taking the couch. I'll tell her later. <laughs> we'll tell her when we get there. <laughs> tell her when we get there. We actually might be dropping this couch off with her couch. In it's fine. What's happening though? Know, and I think I can make this announcement. Do you think I can make this announcement? Yet? Let's do it. Let's make, you know what? Let's make it real. Let's make it real. Here's the deal. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna break some news on Breaking Bio because right. Awesome. Um, because it's the place. For it's it. the place where things break. So. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So, um, for the past four months, we have been in contact with Honda, and um, the Honda Honda Motor Company, the American Honda Motor Company, is lending us the new 2014 mm -hmm. Honda Odyssey to drive across the country in. Um, so we're going to be live tweeting and live blogging and helping to promote this incredible family vehicle that's perfect for road And it's going to tow our <laughs> couch. It's going to tow the couch. The <laughs> and, and it worked. Like somehow, somehow it worked. So um, we're in the final stages of sort of signing all that off this week. And we just couldn't be more excited. <laughs> and we're kind of pinching each other and pinching ourselves that this might happen. Like we might actually go. Now that we have a vehicle, we have to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're going to have to do it now. Yeah, we have to do it now. Yeah. So, okay, so I, I got to ask, are, is the, uh, like, are you going to be plugging the, the Honda vehicle like they do in TV shows nowadays? You know, super seamless right in the middle, like, hey, these windshield wipers wipe off the bugs really great. <laughs> you know, we, we have come up with so many different sort of ideas. And it's up to Honda how they want to use them. <laughs> but um, we've come up with some great ideas. But I think what our our best idea is um, we, 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 we should let it be a surprise. Oh, we should. Yeah, don't give it all away, yeah. guys. It's going it to be it's going to be the it. kind of video clip that everybody's just like. Well, I was going to talk about Kit. Oh, oh. So you know Kit from Knight Rider. <laughs> uh -huh. So. Oh, boy. Um, so <laughs> So, uh, wait, the Honda... wait, you're getting the Hoff to come with you? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a dream come true. <laughs> yeah. Would it? Would it though? <laughs> Anything we can say now is not going to match the Hoff. <laughs> you, you could just stick him out in the field with sticky up his chest hair, use him as an insect trap. That would like totally work. My sticky trap. <laughs> or we could, like, uh, do like a find out how to do like sort of a static attraction thing, just be like, so they just be and just that'd be awesome. Great idea. You'd be like, just walk I'll, around. I'll stop now. Go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna do sort of a kid from Night Rider thing. Um, uh, the all the Hondas have this great text to talk function where you can Bluetooth your cell phone and and the Honda will speak your text messages to you. So we are going to script <laughs> text messages as though the Honda is talking to us, and the Honda is going to be like the third bug chick. It's going to be a character in the show, um, and we're having way too much fun <laughs> with that idea. So it's going to be amazing. Awesome. We're, we're incredibly grateful to Alicia Jones at at Honda. She's been really helping us. Uh, make this happen, and um, we just we just couldn't like a human being more than her <laughs> right now, which is just really lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. We still need to reach 
our goal on Indiegogo, though, because creating a show like this does take funds. Um, Jessica and I, in the past, have filmed all of our own work. We have 50 videos online right now, and um, and they're awesome. But <laughs> but it's it's really difficult to sort of manage the the trip itself, all of the all of the logistics, the scripting, the editing, the the filming, making sure the shots are all right. It it takes us three times as long as if you know it, yeah if if we had somebody else with us, it would take us a much less time. And also, um, our what we are fantastic at, I think, is the teaching part, the, the, the really the communication of the science. We're not incredible videographers, so I, I'm really excited to give that over to someone so that they can do what they are good at and we can do what we are good at and focus on the teaching. Um, so we're bringing, um, we're bringing a videographer with us from Portland and we're also bringing a newly minted PhD in biology who studied night stalking tiger beetles so he's a total bug dork and he's going to be our producer and so we've got a really great team of four of us mm -hmm. that's going to travel across the country. Um, most importantly we all get along and we're not going to kill each other on week three. So that's really cool. that's important. <laughs> yeah. I I wanted to ask, are you going to put because Honda's given you this van, are you going to put some nets on the side of it and do some night drives and oh. collect? Oh, there are no. logistics to be worked out with what we can and cannot do, but all of these questions will be asked. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz I would think, I mean, I would think Honda would love that. I would think so too. We're gonna, we're we're definitely, we've got to iron out some what can we do. So, but um, we're gonna, if not, I'll hang out the window with a net. I mean, we'll totally do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're probably gonna, we'll, you know, we'll use the headlights like most entomology grad students to do some night lighting, hang up a sheet in front of it when we're out in, out in some dark places. So, um, yeah, we're just so excited that a we have a car that can carry four of us, and and b it can tow. Because mm -hmm. um, there was a time there where we thought we were going to bring my car that's an 88, which wouldn't, I think, make it. So <laughs> we're just excited. We're just excited about that. Um, have you guys seen our Indiegogo? I know that Morgan has seen it, and Steven, I think you've seen it as well. Yep. And I know that Gwen has seen it. Um, that leaves you hiding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have not. Uh, that, was, that was super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I've like I've read a little bit about it, but I haven't seen the video. Can you? What's your What's your fundraising goal? Our fundraising goal is forty five thousand dollars. We're at six thousand right now, and we're a week in, but uh, we get we're getting some massive bumps. One of the things that we're really talking about is that we're pro girl and we're pro smart girl and we're kind of anti princess girl. Um, or we're pro girl choosing whoever she wants to be. I think that's that's the main message. Um, we teach so many people who, where the parents come up and say, "Thank you so much for showing my girl that she doesn't have to grow up um, to be a certain way," and and that's really struck a chord with a lot of people on the internet in in different circles. So um, we're hoping that more organizations sort of latch onto that and start talking about this idea that that these two women are going to be out there and, and we deal with scorpions and spiders and, and insects and and we love them and we're not going to promote fear. This is the big mm -hmm. thing. So many nature shows are so creepy now. <laughs> Why? They're so scared. Like, I get scared. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's not true. <laughs> you know, they're, so there's horrible music and there's fangs and there's dripping and the venom and the... You know, in the myth, and it's um, it's a real bummer because when I was growing up, it was Mutual of Omaha. Yeah, and it was um, it was Wild the, America with Mark Wild America. America. It was it was yeah. stuff that just sort of talked about how awesome nature was. Exactly, and and, and it made you want to go out and get uh, and be a part of it. It made you it it filled you with wonder, and I think that's that's what really really good nature programming should do. It should fill you with wonder, um, and it should make you itchy to go outside. And so that's what we're going to try and get back to or, or move forward mm -hmm. towards for the new generation. So So no mermaids then? Well, yeah, that, no. that might be in the behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, what are you talking about? I have an idea that I kind of want to snorkel with alligators. So if we can work mermaids in with that. There's parasites on alligators, right? There's mites. Yeah, okay, um, that would be cool. And how amazing would that be? Like, mites and snorkeling with alligators? Oh, right? Yeah, I just see that ending really badly. <laughs> I mean, like, small alligators. <laughs> You know, they little, could be little, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna end up being bug chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot more room on that couch by the end of this. Well, one of you is gonna have to change their name to Lefty. Right. <laughs> um. So oh, we'll awesome. see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So um, you know, we're, we're gonna try and we're gonna try and undo the myth. <laughs> uh, what sort of incentives do you guys have for your donors? Good, good question. How do you bring it right back to the focus? Um, I'm so smart about this pen. I'm like trying to get, get twenty dollars. At twenty dollars, you get a bug dork bumper sticker, which is a must-have for anyone who loves nature. Uh, there's there's a t-shirt incentive. There's also um, Peter Blanchard is our videographer, and he's also a beautiful photographer, and he is offering, he takes beautiful photographs. <laughs> also quite beautiful, just on a side note. But anyway, <laughs> he takes beautiful photographs, and, um, and one, of the, one of the incentives is, is a matted print of one of his photos. Um, what else, oh, at the $500 level, you can gift or receive a Bug Chicks workshop. Either we will go to your school if it's within driving distance, or we will Skype into your school and um, and speak with a classroom, which is a really fun, I think, incentive. And then, uh, and then at a thousand dollars, your child gets to be a Bug Chicks correspondent on the show. One of the most awesome things about this show is that it's linked with Project Noah. Project Noah is an app that's supported by National Geographic and it's it's a basically a repository for nature photographs, wildlife photographs. And so we're gonna set up a Bug Chicks mission where people can follow us along this route and use mobile technology to upload photos that of bugs that they have seen uh, along our route as we go. And so it's a really great way to sort of keep a conversation going yeah. about about the trip and the and the types of animals and habitats that we see on on our route. Yeah, and kids can ask questions. They can literally be a part of the show as we film it. So we're going to use as much kid created content as we can, because a lot of what we do is peer teaching, and we learn as much from kids as we teach them. I think in lots of ways, and I think that it would be it would be great to have that investment from the younger generation in the show. Um, so so at a thousand dollars your kid can Skype in and be a correspondent on the show, and then also kids from all over the country can can mobily talk to us. <laughs> the, the Project Noah, sorry, you add your data points because it's a GPS coordinate as well, right? Yes. That's so, and, really that's, cool. and that's what makes Project Noah great because it's also citizen science based. So then scientists from all over the world can, can come in and identify what you have put up or put up a little blurb, a little factoid. Um, so. so, one of the things I thought I saw you guys say was that the Entomological Society of America is now a sponsor as well? Yes. Yeah. They, are, they are one of our biggest sponsors, and um, the Entomological Society is, is, is actually one of our, one of our major sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, we, we wrote to them and, uh, and said, look, we're creating this creating this video and we're part of the Entomological Society and what we do is promoting the science of entomology and we think it's a really perfect fit and they agreed and um, so so yeah they're a sponsor and we're very very happy to have them. So we'll be blogging on their new blog Entomology Today, is that what it's called? Yes. No, it's yep. brand new. Yeah. Entomology Today, they just launched a new blog and so we'll be we'll be giving <coughs> some updates from the field as we as we you know, <coughs> It's kind of a kind of an interesting show because we're going to be live blogging and live tweeting through Project Noah and NPR Science Friday and the Entomology Today blog as we're filming, and then after we are done filming, we will come back and then post produce an entire sort of 13 to 30 episodes, depending on the length and how it how it all kind of shakes out. So it's going to have sort of two phases of interaction and teaching, um, and 
and it's going to go up on YouTube, and, and I don't know. That's that's what we got right now. That's where we are. <laughs> that's awesome. So, <clears throat> so you you guys have talked a lot about having kids on the show. Um, I, was like, I was like, that was that was a really awkward more, way. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> don't worry. I, I have that awkward conversation every single time I go home too. So I'm sorry for bringing that up. My makeup. Um, <laughs> Morgan. So, who is the uh, target audience? Perhaps who are you hoping to to really get into this show? God, I love slash hate that question. Um, well, with with our past videos, we sort of we sort of aim them at, at kids. What like like. Seven to thirteen is sort of like a yeah. sort of a target age range, but but so many people outside of that range watch it and enjoy it and learn from it as well. So it's kind of hard to answer who it will best fit. <laughs> Here's the deal: we kind of teach like Shrek, all right? So not so go with me here. Go with me. Yeah, I I can't wait for this. So. <laughs> Shrek is a is a is a type of comedy that lots of different age ranges can enjoy, and the way that we teach is um, uh, kids can enjoy it, and it's totally safe and kid friendly. And then there's also this um, this kind of attitude or or something where there's also sort of an adult, like an adult undercurrent. <laughs> Not maybe an undercurrent. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> God, it's totally PG. Everyone, please watch the show. But um, <laughs> but uh, so. Well, until the Hoff gets there. Right. Yeah, well, well okay. that is going to change everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but oh we need to get on Twitter and start this rumor right now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we should totally. Maybe it'll reach the Hoff's ears and maybe. I know. We'll that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. What, yeah. He yeah. Would yeah. what would happen? I would run in slow motion a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would do. That so, actually, you need to get him to rescue you from the alligators. That would be perfect. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm drowning! Oh, no. it's, um, it's genius. Um, or we okay. rescue the hoff because it's very pro-female. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um, Much better. Yeah. Uh, so... So when we create the show, it will be linked with the new National Science Framework Standards. The new standards are coming out through the National Science Teachers Association, and it's about teaching the process of science, not just the facts, not just the, um, the ideas of science, but how do we teach science, and, and that science is a process, science is a way of thinking rather than a way of memorizing facts. So um, we're, we're definitely going to link it with national curriculum standards that, that are based for, I would say, late elementary mm -hmm. through early high school. That's kind of our target range. So to answer that question more specifically, that's kind of our target range. Though a lot of entomologists, I think, are going to watch the show. A lot of nature dorks are going to watch the show. We hope that it's, um, that it's open for a wide-ranging audience. That's what we hope. We hope awesome. that you watch it. Your previous, your previous stuff has, has been awesome. I show it in my, my when I TA courses and stuff like that. I, I show okay. especially the earwig ones. So I'm yeah. pretty sure that if my undergrads can get along with it, I'm yeah. yeah everybody else. And, can and get you know, along the, with it. those were specifically made for undergraduate students. Those were <laughs> specifically made for Texas A&M University. Um, but we we decided that we have so many kids who watch our stuff that we couldn't we 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 had to do those mating scenes and the mating and courtship ritual <laughs> scenes in a way that it could be okay for kids as well. And I think, I was talking to Jess about this the other night, that's a confine, that's a, that's a con, con, it's constricting for us. It's a confine that we have to live in because we do not want to alienate our kid base. But we are also adults and funny in some ways and <laughs> cursy a little. Like we really have to be very careful to live within that world. Um, but still be true to how we would normally sort of react to things. So well, it's, and, and I would say biology. Sorry to interrupt, but, I mean, sex is what it's all about, man. Yes. And yes. so to leave it out is a huge disservice yes. to being able to talk about why things, why the world is the way it, it is. Exactly. And so it's a, it's, a, it's a really fun challenge for us to live within that, that box. Come up with creative ways to teach about yeah. it without 
it forces you know. us to be terribly creative because there's ways to not be terribly creative about it. Um, and we've all seen those shows, so let's just make something different. So, yeah. Awesome. I wanted to ask if there there must be like a favorite insect or a place where you're really excited to go to that you're looking for something maybe rare maybe not but that you haven't seen before. Is, is there like an entomology dream for your trip? Like a holy grail. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> Okay, kind of. Okay. I mean, in every spot we have, I mean, we've picked spots specifically for different animals. I mean, you, you say one and I'll say the other. Okay, good. We're on the same page. Okay, okay. All right. Um, all right, so one of the things that we really want to find are the uh, American burying beetles. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. That's on the list. That's a great mating story. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. This is why Bug Girl awesome. is forever and always <laughs> the standard. The standard to which <laughs> you really shouldn't aspire. Really. <laughs> we adore you. <laughs> but yeah, that would be very cool. The carrion beetles are good. Yeah. And we actually have a contact in Oklahoma. We're going to hit it at the very end of their season. It's touch and go. The problem with bugs is that you can want to see them all you want, but if you get there and it's the wrong time or if it's too dry or if it's a nightmare, well, it, it might not happen. <laughs> so we have to be flexible with what we're going to find and what we're going to film. Um, the other thing is... Yesterday we just talked to Dr. Hillary Robison. She is a she's a woman who has studied grizzly bears and uh, how they eat the army cutworm moth to prepare for the winter, to fatten up for the winter. So we are gonna go and film grizzlies and the cutworm moth. We might not be able to film them eating the cutworm moth because it's way up in the Alpine Ridge and we might not get permission from the U.S. Forest And the Service. couch is really heavy. And the couch so. is heavy. <laughs> yeah. so, um, so we might, you know, find a way to make that connection without seeing them eating the moths. But grizzlies and cutworm moths, come on. That's pretty awesome. Yes. There might be hot air ballooning happening. There might be hot air ballooning if we can swing it. Possibly hang gliding. Possibly hang gliding. To illustrate certain behaviors. We like to illustrate things by doing other things. Hot air ballooning would be amazing to talk about. Um, convection currents and ballooning spiders. And um, there's lots of ways that we can teach about all of the different things that go on in the backyard. So we're still plotting we're still plotting those things out. We are going to try and film vinegaroons and the tarantula migration in Arizona, down in Tucson, um, in Saguaro National Park. Hopefully some pompilids mm. um, hunting some tarantulas would be amazing. And, of course, solifuges. We're going to hit the very tail end of the solifuge season, which is what I focus on, and so... Um, I'm going to be up, I think, for four nights straight, just like, walking around at night trying to find the solitudes. So, yeah. Awesome. That sounds like a really long, amazing list of things that I can't wait to see you guys find in, out in the field. So so when this is all done, when you've, you've got your, your week's worth of traveling and such wrapped up and, and come back and it's all uh, edited up, where, where are we going to be able to find this and when should we start looking for it online? Um, we're thinking that they're going to start rolling out mm -hmm. around mid-November. Yeah. Um, and uh, and we're going to definitely put it up on our YouTube channel. And we're, where we're we well, it? you know, it all depends. Like it's all going to depend on. So so say we make the forty-five thousand dollars to to actually do this mm -hmm. to the fullest capacity that we can. Um, this thing's going to sort of take on a life of its own as we travel across the country. It's going to build, and so there are many opportunities. We think there might be opportunities that for the show to go someplace other than mm -hmm. where we where we original or where we decided, yeah. like YouTube. Um, we're open to any opportunities world, if you are watching this. <laughs> so we're open to any opportunities. And so we're also going to put them on a DVD set. Too, I think that's yeah. one of the one of the incentives that we have. Oh, right, it is. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool. So we're almost out of time, but uh, where can people follow along on, on your crazy migration and journey? Thebugchicks.com. Everything's going to be there. Also, projectnoah.org, um, and we'll be posting. Uh, we'll have a mission with them. We'll have a mission on projectnoah.org, 
And um, Twitter is also a great way to sort of follow along. And Facebook as well. We're doing Twitter and Facebook. I'm going to basically live on my iPhone as we go across the country. And if I'm not driving or filming or doing something, we're all just going to be passing this thing around and tweeting and blogging and Facebooking. And we're going to mobile it up. Uh, it sounds fantastic, and I'm pretty sure that the internet is going to be a much better place once it actually hits the ground. Oh, so thank you. Thank so you. good luck, travel safe, and uh, and you've got about three weeks left in your Indiegogo campaign, yes. right? Three All right. Weeks. So okay. so everybody that's home and listening, you can hear how enthusiastic these people are, and uh, and how much they deserve to get this going. So get to Indiegogo. We'll put the link up on the blog at breakingbio.com, um, and we'll share it on Twitter at breakingbio, and you can go and donate as much money as you can afford to to help make this a reality. So we want to thank the bug girls, uh, sorry, the bug chicks uh, for coming on and <laughs> joining us girl. once again, and of course the bug girl as well. Yes. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get you guys back on sometime down the road, and maybe we can premiere an episode on Breaking Bio. Yes, that would be oh, excellent. That would be yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Look at well, travel safe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, everybody, and we'll see you all listening at home another time. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.